Hi everyone, this is Andalyn with Cambridge Butterfly Conservatory. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going on a fun adventure. We're going ghost hunting. Maybe you didn't realize that we have ghosts here at the conservatory, except I like to call them phasmids, which is kind of like another word for phantom. We actually have four different kinds of phasmids right now, and we're gonna go on the search for them. They're really good at hiding. So today's like an I spy game. I hope you're up for the challenge. All right, so we're looking for a phasmid that's hiding really well amongst the sticks and the vines. In fact, I see one right here. Look really closely. I'm gonna bring out a naturalist's best friend. It's a magnifying glass, gives you macro vision, helps you things you wouldn't normally be able to see. Now this kind of phasmid in particular is called a thorny devil. It's also called a walking stick because it looks a lot like the stick or the spine that it's hiding on. And these kinds of animals are really like a phantom because they're almost invisible. You think you see them one moment and then you don't the next. So if I'm talking about an animal, then why was I calling them a ghost? Well, I can't be totally crazy because the first scientist to describe walking sticks or stick insects must have thought they also looked like a ghost because that's where the word phasmid comes from. Phasmid is an old word that means phantom because they're like phantoms of the forest. They're so good at blending in, they're near invisible. All right, so it's time to meet some of these forest phantoms up close. These are some thorny devil stick insects that are resting on this tree. And this is where the ice spy game begins. Can you spot them all? I'll give you a few seconds to look. There's a couple females and a couple males. This one here is a female. These two at the top, these are male thorny devils. This is another female. You can tell a female thorny devil from a male because she has a long, pointy end on her body. Sometimes people think it's a stinger, but it's not. That's just what she uses to lay her eggs with. So here are probably over 50 thorny devil eggs. A single female can lay over 200. And they look a lot like seeds, which is a good description because she just lets them fall to the ground. They mix in with the fallen leaves in the leaf litter in the forest. And then they hatch four to eight months later. Now remember in our video from a while ago where we met the Hercules beetles, we were talking about how they go through four changes like butterflies do. Well, stick insects do it a little more simply. They only go through three stages. They have the egg, they have a nymph, and then an adult. They don't have a pupa or a transformation stage. When they hatch out of an egg, they kind of look just like a miniature version of the adult and each time they molt and grow, they get bigger and bigger until one day they have their final molt and they are an adult. Every time they molt, they actually change color. They go through some color changes. They can look green, brown, or anything in between. Now I put four nymphs on this piece of bark here. They're blending in with the lichen. Let's do another I spy game and see how many you can spot hiding on the lichen. the adult female thorny devils up close. On my hand she really stands out and you can see her really well but when she was resting on more of her natural habitat she camouflaged so well it was like she was invisible. That's why they are true phantoms of the forest. So what do you think? Do you think the first scientists to describe these kind of animals were right and call them phasmids which means phantom? I think that was a really great descriptive name. In another creature feature I'll introduce you to the other phasmids that we have living here at the conservatory. Thank you for joining me today to meet the Thorny Devils. We'll see you next time.